All right, so freezer at 59 degrees. You can hear the things just starving for refrigerant. There's a leak in it somewhere. Thing, thing is. Yeah, it's just starving for refrigerant. Let's, uh... Man, it almost feels like the defrost is on. Can I show you off? heat. What did I just do? Display is blank during defrost cycle. Some switch for this damn thing. Well, we had a tech out here yesterday. Why is that heat on? What? Oh. Hold on, I gotta set it down. that off for a minute. I don't know, maybe it's in defrost. But we had another check out here yesterday, filled the thing up, so I gotta figure out where this thing is leaking. At least try. Let me let me get some tools. Get you on a tripod. We'll get into this crap. Get on the roof too. Okay. Let's get up on the roof. We've been on this roof before. Pizza Hut. Last year we had I think we had a problem with the freezer. <clears throat> and we found some, I don't know, found some leak somewhere up here. I'm gonna say this. Ice machine. Maybe it's not that, maybe it's this one. Yeah, freezer. I don't know where he found the leak when he was out here last time. I can't remember if we had a leak in the freezer or the cooler. to leak really quick. Let's 
see what happens. Yeah, this is the one. She's hot. See what I got for pressure in this thing. If anything, I don't see anything obvious. <coughs> but that's up here. We should go downstairs and kind of peek in there too. Yeah, no refrigerant in this puppy. Fifteen PSI. gonna find a leak with 15 psi <clears throat> let me throw some charge in this thing well I don't know let's uh I don't see anything obvious Let's go downstairs and rip into that coil, see if I can see any, see any spots down there. See if I can see any spots down there. Get you on a tripod. Got you on a chest mount. I think she said she's got order coming tomorrow and she's pretty full in that freezer too already. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know where I'm gonna put you. Five sixteenths. 
five sixteenths. Jeez, Pete's boxes are saggy. There's some right straight back. There's some quick connect valves. <clears throat> There's some quick connect valves back there. Let me throw some charge in it, see what it does. Look for a leak. I think the leak's in here. As soon as I walked in there. Can I even hear it? I might be able to even hear it. Picking up something. Betcha it's back here. I can freaking. Picking up something. Kill myself in here. I think it's above the cooler. Oh, 
Huh. I think it's up top. Crap. Let me go get a ladder. I'm gonna have to get above this cooler. As soon as I walked in here, I walked into this door. I got hit right here. Let me get a ladder. Maybe it's not up here. It's like one solid line set all the way down. Maybe it's the top of the coil. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in the cooler. They walk in this door. Let's see. Yeah. It leaks in here somewhere. Getting a hit right here, right there. I wonder if it chafed through on the metal or something. Dude, bad spot. Let me see if I can get back there. Yeah, I found it. That liquid line. Hold on, let me shut my look. You can hear it. The liquid line right there chafed through on the aluminum. What a bad spot to freaking deal with. I can't even see it. Let me figure out how I'm going to do this. I think, uh, I think what I'll do, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this right here and expand it so I make a weld there and cut it up top. I'll just run a I'll just run a two foot piece of three eighths pipe. That's what I'll do. It will just make it, yeah, right there in the liquid line. I can't see it. So how am I going to weld it right there? So like I said, I'll cut it there, expand it, throw a two feet put two foot piece on the roof. And just weld it up there that's the plan and we'll get it fixed whatever all right let me get set up i gotta get this thing pumped down there we got her up and running She's short, baby, she's short. Oh my god, no charge.
cooler's at 60. So we gotta let that cooler get down to temp before we kind of clear that sight glass up to make sure we got enough refrigerant in there. Then we'll pay attention to our hot gas. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hot gas. There we go. I don't feel like reaching my hand down there. So let me run downstairs, see what kind of temp we got in the freezer, and uh, we'll keep on charging her up. Hopefully I got enough refrigerant. I hope so. Let's see, I doubt if our fans came on yet. the fans came on yet we're cooling though yeah we're only like oh there's one fan where's the other fan It's one fan on one termination, one fan on the other. What do I know? We'll wait a few minutes. Unless they knock something loose, which that could have been. Could have been, could have been. Whoa, what the hell is that? Let me see. Let me go get a nut driver and see if I knock something loose. One fan still. It 
actually goes through a termination. But I should have power there. So I talked to my other tech, he says that right, fine t that right fan takes a little bit to fire. Got to get it colder. But if I reach down here... Oh! I'm not bypassing on my hot gas, so... Still goes at like 23, 24 degrees. I think I got some bubbles in the sight glass, but it's still, I wonder if that other fan fired, that's why I got some bubbles. PSI with a minus 11 evaporator. Let her cool down here a little. And the phone's always ringing. go downstairs and see if it fired that other fan we'll just keep on plugging along this you gotta let the freezer cool down you know it takes some time I gave it all I had tonight because it is it's cooling down in there I think I got it down to uh, I, think I got it down 10 degrees or so so even being a little short I'm still better than I was before with nothing I'll just come back tomorrow and, uh, slap a little more refrigerant in it back tomorrow but I'm freezing so which is good and figure out what the hell is going on with this fan and give it a little extra charge but for right now at five o'clock at night this is what they're gonna get so but I know it'll last till tomorrow I know it'll stay cold but uh, we'll troubleshoot that fan tomorrow and give it a little more charge. Alright, so 
that was unexpected. All my all the refrigeration guys were tied up, so one of the guys went there last night, filled it up, and got there today dry. You know, so had to find a leak because if I just charged it, it wouldn't have lasted. You know, I mean, it was short, short, short. So yeah, that was kind of an adventure. So you seen seen that pipe. That was from the ceiling. Just that, just chafed it away. Just enough vibration. So what I did is, uh, I zip tied, you know, stuck stuck some insulation in that hole and zip tied it together so it's nice and tight and bundle and caulked it up really good. So there's no, you know, no leaking, no vibration in there. So that can't happen again. Um, Fan still wouldn't come on. I don't know. And it looks like one side of the coil is frosty and the and where that fan didn't come on. It's not frosting. So I don't know. I don't know if I have a feeding issue with the TXV. Because if you took the side off, the coil bends weren't frosted. Um, other side was that, that side not so much so I wonder if I'm just got a TXV issue or I got a strainer plugged I don't know we've been into the system before and I didn't have time to change a filter dryer this time but I might have to go back there tomorrow pull the refrigerant change a filter dryer look at the TXV screen and maybe adjust my superheat across the coil with the TXV. Hopefully. Not sure. But by the time I walked out of there, it was I, I know it'll last overnight because I don't have a hole in the system. And you know, we'll get them through the night. That's basically what we can do. And then we'll get there tomorrow and figure it out. Not a big deal. I don't, I don't think it's a big deal at all. But we'll go there tomorrow and see what's up. Maybe it just needs a little more refrigerant. I couldn't get the sight glass clear because I only had so much refrigerant. And uh, we'll go from there. We get stuck on this stuff every once in a while. And there ain't nothing you can do. I'll come up with a job. Not a big deal. It's just like air conditioning. Oh, there's my guy right now. Maybe. Nope. Not. Different guy. That guy. Yeah, that guy. Different company. Um, so you guys know what you need to do. You need to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Hopefully it will be a follow-up tomorrow on this freezer.